In this video, you'll see how you can associate timeline points to different pieces of content. First, go to version settings. Then manage ID toolkit. Make sure that Elm's timeline has been activated. This will allow you to associate timelines to content. Now go to some content. We're going to select this random text here and look for the little clock that says add a time point. We'll give this a title. It's invented. We're going to give it a time. 1, 1, 1900. This is when hockey was made. It's kind of a silly thing. So we'll hit save. And we'll be taken back to the page with the text selected. You'll see timeline shows up. And then when I click the text, it slides out, shows me a timeline. Right now, the timeline is just defaulting to show this year. But if you scroll back in history, you'll see there's a little time point. Clicking on the time point, we'll be able to see the information that was just provided. Hockey was invented. Much like the other features, you can go and click timeline in course resources, and you'll be able to start building out a timeline that has all of the time points in it. So let's go to something else in the sample because that's referenced to. Let's go to unit one, and we'll add a time point here. We're going to make this a time period instead of a, a point in time. Call this the 80s, or the, yeah, the 80s. And it was from 1-1-1980 one, one, until 12-31-1989. We'll say this was the best time. And hit save. This will create a range for our dates and so now when we open up the timeline you'll see there's actually a little date range associated to it. The 80s. Going to our timeline we'll now have a range on the same chart as that single time point as when hockey was invented. 